Hi, welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Layla. We continue our business profiles with a look at Quebecor Inc. and its founding president, who is known for his impressive negotiation tactics and willingness to take calculated risks, and as a visionary worker with enormous strength of character. Pierre Pelado was a really rough businessman, and his way to make business was to buy really, really, really cheap and to make it profitable uh, really soon. Pierre Pelado established Quebecor Inc. in 1965, committing it to newspaper publishing weeklies, books, magazines, and printing. He remained its CEO until his death in 1997. Today, this communications giant operates in North and Latin America, in Europe and in Asia, in 17 countries altogether. It has two subsidiaries, the 1999 merger of Quebecor Printing, which traces its roots back to 1954, and World Color Press created one of the world's largest commercial printers, Quebecor World Inc. Quebecor Media Inc. owns companies in several media-related businesses, ranging from cable operations operations to newspaper distributions and from TV networks to interactive technologies. To learn more about this communications and media powerhouse and the man who built it from humble beginnings, I sat down with biographer Julien Bro, who studied the life of Pierre Pelado. He begins as a newspaper publisher. When he wasn't able to buy another newspaper, he was buying a printing plant and he became Uh, one of the biggest uh, printers in the world and after his death his son Pierre Carpelado bought World Color Press and Quebecor World, the company became the biggest uh, printing company in the world. And how big was Quebecor's reach? It still is a really big company but it is for now in bankruptcy but it is uh, the first uh, printer in France, one of the first in England, uh, they have printing plan in India, the biggest in uh, South uh, America and one of the principal printers in North America so it's, it's a really global company. He was a powerful entrepreneur in the media industry. In what ways was he also a media mogul? To a journalist of Canadian business who asked him one of his regrets in his life, Pierre Pelado said he would have preferred to have launched more newspaper in the United States. I don't think he was very attached to the editorial content. He really didn't care about what his journalist was saying. What were some of his most noteworthy acquisitions? The acquisition that make of uh, his company, a uh, global company, is the Maxwell Graphic printing plant. It was Robert Maxwell, which, which was uh, one of the global uh, media muggle. He owned the Daily News in London. How has Quebecor been a pioneer in digital media? The elder son of uh, Pierre Pelado, Eric Pelado, he saw the uh, Quebecor activities, it was printing newspaper, and he saw the, uh, the falling in the circulation of all the newspaper everywhere, and he uh, convinced his father uh, at the age of 75 that it was important to develop the digital uh, side of the company and he found what is now Neuron. It was uh, Quebecar Multimedia uh, at the beginning, but he, uh, at the age of 76, tried to uh, learn how to go on, on the internet and invest in the, his elder son project.